Hi friends! Yesterday at Jesus time we heard about a man named Daniel and the people who worked for the king came up with a bad bad plan because they didn't like Daniel. They were jealous of him and they said, hey king, we should only pray to you not to God and Daniel didn't want to pray to the king. He wanted to pray to God as we should and so they said the wicked um, men who were also worked for the king said if people don't pray to you they need to go to the lion's den where a bunch of hungry angry lions lived and so they knew that daniel would pray to god and not to the king so they threw daniel into the lion's den but we remember our story yesterday that god sent an angel and he shut the lion's mouth so they couldn't eat him and God was with him and protected him and kept him safe. We're going to hear that story again about Daniel. God blessed Daniel. He made Daniel very wise, very smart. The king planned to make Daniel ruler of all the land. Now the other wise men were jealous. They tried to find something bad about Daniel, but Daniel was a good man. He always prayed to God. He always obeyed God. The men could not find anything bad. So they made a plan. They went to the king. Let's make a new law, a new rule, they said. Let's say that everyone has to pray to you. If they don't, we will throw them into the lion's den. That sounded good to the king. He made it a new law, a new rule. Daniel heard about the new law, but he went to his room and prayed anyway. Now the men knew Daniel would pray. They saw him and took him to the king. Let's throw Daniel into the lion's den, they said. The king was sorry. He liked Daniel, but he could not change his law. They could not change his rule. The men's plan had worked. They threw Daniel to the lions. The next morning, the king got up early. He ran to the lion's den. Daniel, did God save you? He called. Yes, king, said Daniel. God sent an angel to close the lion's mouths. The king was happy. He took Daniel out. God had saved him. God's almighty power came again. God is always with us, just like he was with Daniel in that lion's den. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. Let's fold our hands and we're going to say the Lord's Prayer today. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 
Remember, Jesus loves you and is with you all the time.